I am feeding my little Mr. Zayden. And we are kind of doing a late video this evening. Because I was busy all day, so I never got to change him. I wanted to change him earlier, but it just wasn't possible. But I definitely wanted to do it, so I figured I'd do it now, even though it's kind of late. And I really don't like doing late videos. I prefer to do like morning or at early afternoon. But anyway... Better late than never. Just a moment. I'll be right back, guys. We're back. I had to calm my kids down because they were getting loud. And then they have company over tonight. It's not that late. It's about 6.45 in the evening. So this little boy is very hungry, guys. He is just eating like he hasn't ate in a month. <laughs> ah, so I'm going to change him and everything into a dinosaur outfit. Usually if I have out my dinosaur blanket, there's going to be a dinosaur outfit. And I have my camera positioned again at this angle that I forgot to actually lower the camera. It's set at the higher tall position when I'm doing a live stream. And I guess I set it like that when I did my last live stream over the weekend and I didn't change it. Usually I put it lower so you can be a little closer and be able to see the baby better. But I've already started, so I guess I'll leave it. So I have been having a busy week this week, so I am just getting to make a video in a couple of days. Just doing this and that. And also I was trying to paint a little bit this week. And I notice if I paint, then I don't get like video time. It's like I have to pick or choose one or the other. Sometimes I'll try to paint and do a video, but then it kind of takes up my painting time when I do the video. So that's kind of a dilemma when you paint in your reborns, then you kind of lose your video time. I don't know how people sometimes manage to do both and keep everything like going. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. When I try to paint and do a video something, I have to like cut something in half. So something is going to end up getting less time basically. And I'm doing this video over because I had to restart it. So, I don't know if I said this is Zayden, which is Zasha by Claire Taylor Dolls. Um, and he is my first baby that I reborn. Painted and rooted his hair and everything. And he, I rooted his hair. He's the first vinyl baby that I rooted. I'm going to put this pamper on him, but it's going to be big, but I want him to wear it. So, we're going to put a big diaper on him. Um, But he's the first vinyl baby I rooted because I did root one of my silicone babies before. But I had never actually rooted a vinyl reborn. So, he was the first vinyl baby that I rooted his whole head. And I did it in one like one day i just sat there on a saturday and rooted this baby's whole head on one saturday um and it's i sealed it like three or four times with glue and it doesn't come out or anything when i comb it and all of that so i did a pretty good job on this baby 
for it to have been my first baby, the root. But after that, <laughs> I haven't gotten that knack back of rooting in like a day. The next baby I rooted, it took me at least a, maybe a week or so to finish his whole head, which isn't that long, but that was way longer than a day. I also painted him faster. It was like I was so enthusiastic when I first started learning to paint. But since then, I have slowed down and I have to paint, as I said, when I feel like painting or it doesn't work for me. So that's what I've learned about myself with painting my own dolls. It has to be when I really want to paint. So he's going to wear these little pants and the feet have stripes on them. And if you hear kids talking loud in the background, excuse the noise, but they're home. It's evening. And then this little dinosaur top. And this is Absorber. And it is, what size is this? Zero to three months, which he usually can fit. This baby is kind of chunky. His little thighs are rather chunky. So I, I thought he was a newborn size, but he's not. He is actually a zero to three month size little boy. And I recently said, um, I had did another Zasha, the same kit like this one. And that one was a girl and she was a baldy or she could have been a boy, but to me, she looked like a girl. And she is, she was the biracial skin tone. She's lighter than this little guy. And um, I had been trying to sell her on eBay for a while. And finally, I said if she didn't sell this time, I was going to keep her because I just fell in love with that Zasha. I love this one too. But for some reason, I really fell in love with the girl Zasha and the ball head. Because I originally... If you guys were watching my channel back then, wanted to leave this baby ball. But then he was my first baby that I had reborn. And he had a boo-boo on his head because I kind of overbaked it. And it melted and all that kind of stuff on the top of his head one spot. So I ended up having to root this little boy's hair. Um, but for some, I like him with his rooted hair though. I love his hair. But I just love the way... The ball Zasha look. So I fell in love with the biracial Zasha that I had did as a girl. And she was bald. And I was like, if she doesn't sell soon, I'm going to just keep her. And she was weighted so perfectly. Because she had the glass beads in her. And he has baby fat pellets in him. So he's not as like heavy as she was. So I just really fell in love how, like, when I would hold that Zasha, how she felt. So he, I need to add some weight into him because he just feels too light. Those baby fat pellets, like, they don't really weight the baby like the glass beads. But anyway, I said I was just going to keep her. But lo and behold, as I said that, the baby soul, guys. <laughs> I certainly was going to take her off eBay if she didn't sell. But she sold on Sunday. And I had just said that on Saturday. And so I shipped her off yesterday. So she's on her way to her new home. <laughs> but I certainly was going to keep that baby. I didn't need to keep her, but I wanted to. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some weight to him. So he'll feel just as nice as she did. Because it's the same kit. So I know I should be able to get him weighted like she was. This bib doesn't go with this. But I was going to let him wear it. But then it'll take from the dinosaur he already has. So he doesn't need it. Right? And you, you're not going to spit up on your clothes, right? You're going to be a good boy and not mess up your nice little shirt. But anyway, I just wanted to come and change him tonight and feed him and he's a baby like i said i don't do a lot of videos with him um i don't know why and i do like him 
I just, I'll hold him off camera too, but I just don't, like half the time I don't do videos with him. And he's so cute in his clothes because he got these like chubby legs and I really love chubby babies. Um, and then this baby also looks like my 13 year old son when he was a baby. And that was unintentional that this baby came out to look like my son. When I was making him and reborning him and bringing him to life, I never noticed that he was looking like my son until weeks after I had reborn him, I figured out that, oh my gosh, he looks like my son. I think I was looking at a baby picture of my son and that's when I realized it. The strangest thing, but he's the first baby I reborn. And he came out looking like almost like a portrait baby of my real son when he was born 13 years ago. But anyway, that is little Mr. Zayden and his story. And he, him and my son's picture, I'm going to put it um, probably in the thumbnail of this video. And I will probably put it right at the beginning of the video. Some people have seen that comparison picture. I've showed it before. And I've also put it on my Instagram. But I will put it on here again. So you guys can see how much he resembles my son. So that is all for tonight, guys. Um, the next baby I need to get to change is my little Gabriel. I was trying not to change him again. Give him a little break from changing. So that's why you guys haven't seen him get changed since I think last Thursday. So I will probably try to change him tomorrow. We'll see. I got another busy day ahead of me tomorrow too. So I don't know. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.